today we will have a look at the Anapac series nut cutters. And during this webinar we will discuss the features and benefits of these nut cutters. During the webinar we will use some abbreviations. Where we use NC, this stands for Nut Cutter Series Single Bladed. NS, Nut Cutter Splitter Series Single Bladed. Or the NCD, Nut Cutter Series Double Bladed Nut Cutter. Some Nut Cutter features. The Nut Cutters have been designed to last longer on the job. They are safe to operate. The NS series nut cutters have a carrying handle on them. The nut cutter double bladed series have two blades, so it's one cut to remove the nut. All our nut cutters are delivered with spare blades and the tools to replace the blades. They are easy to service and later during this webinar we will come to the end also topics. First we are going to have a look at the NC single bladed nut cutter. The red arrow indicates where the cutting blade is located in the cutter. NC single bladed nut cutters. The NC single bladed nut cutters are a compact and ergonomic design for safe deployment. The unique angled head is designed for general use. The heavy duty chisel can be re-sharpened if needed. Delivered with the tool you will get a spare chisel and the tooling to replace the chisel. The NC range covers a nut range from 10 to 75 mm across the flat of the nut. For example, an NC 1924 cuts nuts with a hexagon size from 19 up to 24 mm. These nut cutters can be used on bolts and nuts with a maximum hardness of 44 Rockwell C. The angled cutting design makes it a general purpose tool. This means you can use it in any position on the job. If the cutter is used with different types of material than steel, the number of cuts per blade might vary. The NC double bladed nut cutter series. The red arrow again indicates the location of the two cutter blades. The NC double bladed nut cutter design is a compact and ergonomic design for safe deployment. The unique angle head design for general use. The two blade design for time saving operations. This means once you pressurize the cutter and you will have this nut split in two sections as shown in this picture. The heavy duty chisels in the nut cutter can be re-sharpened. The nut cutters will be delivered with a spare chisel and a set of tools to replace the chisels when needed. For the NC double bladed nut cutter series we have them available for a range from 24 up to 41 millimeters across the flat of the nut. For example, an NC 2432D will cut nuts with a hexagon size from 24 up to 32 millimeters. These double bladed nut cutters can also be used on nuts and studs with a maximum hardness of 44 Rockwell C. And the angled cutting design makes it a general purpose tool. If using the cutter on other types of material than steel, the number of cuts per blade might vary. <laughs> 
the NC versus the NC double bladed nut cutter. What are the advantages and the disadvantages of an NC cutter compared to an NC double bladed cutter? The advantage is it's a com more compact design than the NC double bladed cutter. The disadvantage is, is that you have to cut twice to remove the nut. If we now compare an NC double bladed cutter against a NC cutter, with the two chisels we only have to cut once to remove a nut. The double bladed nut cutter is slightly longer. This is due to the extra material we need to make it possible to assemble that second knife. We will now have a look at the NS range nut splitter. The red arrow indicates again the location of the cutting blade. The NS nut splitters are specifically designed for flange applications. To be more precise, these cutters have been designed to be used on oil and gas flanges that follow the NZ standard B16.5 or the BS1560 standard. Yeah. Net cutters can only be used on flanges. Yeah, they, don't, they can't be used on standard nut cutting applications. The cutting depth can be set mechanically. This allows us to set a certain cutting depth. Uh, the advantage of this is that we will not damage the bolt or the stud so that it can be reused. The cylinder body is nickel plated so that gives it a excellent corrosion protection if used in corrosive environments. The tri-blade technology that we use on these cutters allows us to have three cutting edges on one blade, so one, two, three. These blades can be pushed out regardless of the position of the cutter and it can be rotated and then used again. The detent will make sure that the knife stays in position these uh, NS cutters can also be used on bolts and nuts with a maximum hardness of 44 Rockwell C. The nut cutter also follows the same standard as the NC and the NCD double bladed nut cutter. The part number tells what size of nut can be cut. For example, an NS7080 will cut with a hexagon size of 70 to 80 millimeters. On the next slide we will show you a little video how to set the cutting depth. Then whilst turning the nut you will see that the red line moves and this indicates at what cutting depth you are setting the cutter. Some general tips using nut cutters or nut splitters. Ensure there is sufficient space around the nut cutter. This to avoid unwanted contact. Ensure the nut cutter does not get in contact with other objects during use. This will cause side load and it might eventually lead to a damaged chisel. Where possible, use cutting fluids. This will reduce the friction, hence you will have a longer lifetime out of your cutting blade. Don't use the nut cutter as a spanner. If the nut is not fully cut, or it is not yet loose, don't try to pull on the spanner to make it move because this will damage your chisel that is in the 
cutter. Select a nut cutter pump combination that suits your application. So in other words, if it is like a single cut, maybe a nut cutter in combination with a hand pump or a foot operated pump is suitable for that job. If we have to cut several nuts or series of nuts, maybe a combination with a battery operated pump or a small electric pump is the better solution. We will now have a look at the do's and don'ts, how to position the nut cutter. First of all, ensure that the nut cutter is properly placed on the nut. This to avoid side loading on the chisel. In the green image we show how to position the cutter over the nut. First of all, ensure that the flat side of the nut is flat against the anvil of the cutter. Secondly, position the cutting blade as much as possible in the center of the stud. In the red image we show an example of how you should not use the nut cutter. Yeah. So when activating this nut cutter it will start to rotate. This rotation might cause some dangerous situations where your hand might get trapped in between the structure Maybe the cutter starts to react against the, st the structure, causing some extra side load. And even we could load the hose, and this could then maybe result in a leak under pressure. But we now have a look at the double bladed nut cutter. With the double bladed nut cutter, we have two blades in position. So when we place the nut cutter over the nut, we have to ensure that the blades are more or less in the center of the nut cutter. If we have this, this will be classified as a good position. Yeah. If we look at the red one, we see that the nut is not parallel to the cutting blade, and therefore when we start cutting, we will introduce side load. Again, here you will then get, maybe the cutter will start to turn, your hand might get trapped, the cutter might react against the structure, or we side load the hose with the result of a hose burst or even a broken coupler. When we place the nut cutter over the nut, there is another thing we should pay attention to, and that is the position of the blade of the nut cutter. Make sure that the blade will move into the nut and not that it starts to push itself into the washer underneath the nut. If the blade goes into the washer, this will point load the, uh, the knife and therefore you will get a huge point load on the knife and eventually the knife will break. Some useful tips. There are some nut cutter sets available. Uh, this means we have made a selection for you. Size of the pump matches the nut cutter. The nut cutters can be used in subsea applications. When they have been in a subsea application, please make sure that they get to a service center to be refurbished because if we don't do this the cutter will start rusting and might not be fit for the purpose on the next job. On request we can supply double acting nut splitters. These will give you the advantage of a controlled uh, movement into the nut but also a fast retraction during the uh, movement for the next nut. Again, use cutting fluids to reduce the friction, so a longer lifetime of your nut cutter. Only use glycerin fill gauges. During the nut splitting application, there will be some shock loads 
and a glycerin filled gauge can go better with these shock loads than the so called dry gauges. If you have an application where a standard nut cutter doesn't fit, yeah, there is the possibility to assemble an XSC1. This will shorten the length of the nut cutter and then it might fit into your application. The nut cutters have been designed in such a way that they are easy to service. There are service kits available to make it happen for you and if required the Anapac Academy can offer you a full service training for those nut cutters. The training videos are stored on the Anapac website. So if you go to www.anapac.com and go to the resources section, you will find training videos and there you can revisit the training material that we have broadcasted.